Ready? Let's go. All right. Let's get underway. Jindosh is important to the Duke's inner circle. The Grand Guard watches his mansion, harassing people who look like trouble. You said there's a wall of light cutting off access to the carriage station. Yes, but there's a black market shop nearby. They sell on the sly. Ever use a rewiring tool? Yes, but it's been years. Good. Get past the wall of light, then ride the carriage to where Jindosh lives. And there's a reason people are afraid of his mansion. I'll see you after it's done. Corvo, take care of this crazy man and his clockwork soldiers, then bring Sokolov back. He means a lot to me. story about Kirin Jindash, a prodigy from Karnaka. Self-taught, he was hailed by the Academy of Natural Philosophy as a genius who would surpass Sokolov and bring about an age of enlightenment. But just two years after his arrival, he was banned from the Academy for life, for reasons that are still not public. When they deported him, he left behind a machine that drank seawater, playing music that brought listeners to tears. They probably took it apart, and it has never worked since. You know, I sleep in the shop most nights. The city's not safe. You're not with the guard. I'm happy to serve. There's something familiar about you. I've been away from Karnaka for a long time. I need a rewire tool, like the ones used by the Grand Guard. No questions. Clear? Yes, sir. But I can't help you right now. I have people coming in, and I can't be responsible for their manners if you take my meaning. Paolo is coming by. See me later. Understood. You should go. We can do business another time. Like I said, Paolo is coming by. If you try to leave, find a place to hide and we'll do business afterwards. Oh, something really stings around here. And this time it ain't me. Short blades, the good stuff. More than you see. I know what you mean. No, because last time you gave me some backwater foundry. Garbage! I wouldn't hold an inch. And snapped against Grand Guard armor. I got taken on that deal too. But I'll make it up to you, Paolo. Bump off maybe 10%? 30. Because I like you. By next week. That's fair. I made a bad faith trade and I regret it. You'll have the cutters, I promise. Good, good. These are strange times. Overseers in the Dust District, a witch empress, and these clockwork soldiers protecting the aristocracy. All bad for business. But if I get my way, 
Karnaka will be a different city a year from now. Secret. I saw people coming and going recently, looking for whale oil, up to something. So many people legging it from the city. The Grand Guard and the Howlers won't have anybody to tax or rob. Everybody's got the willies now. Feels like the city might collapse. I worked in the silver mines here, until the dust got to my lungs. Impressive how you managed to get there. Be careful, those people in the oil tanks might still be around. Oh. No, you screwed up. It won't work without another tank. Not enough to last. You gotta trust me on this. All right, all right. I don't know shit about explosives. Never said I did. I'll go out again later and find some more. Good. You can't rush jobs like this. It takes a smooth hand. You can't piss around here forever either. Eventually some wanker will see us and the howlers will catch wind. But I hear you. One more tank. here what's the mask for walk on you won't like how this ends oh that's not how it ends how does it end then with an old man giving me advice in my own damn city then being force-fed his ugly mask because that sounds like something I'd like a lot crossing Paolo. He talks a good game, but I was putting down his kind when I was 16. Come in. Ah, I might have what you've been asking for. Josh's mansion from here. The gate's down. I'll need the code. Bella is a friend of the Duke's. She and her husband got one of those clockwork soldiers months before anyone else. They had a party, and we uncrated it. If I hadn't spent half my life floundering in Potter's stead, maybe I'd get invitations like that. It's all about who you come up with. I couldn't agree more, my dear. So why'd the Grand Inventor take the clockwork away from them? Couldn't they have asked the Duke to intercede? Oh, after the incident, they wanted it off their estate. But it stopped that family of robbers. Surely that. 
Yes, but after it killed the thieving couple and their brat, it slaughtered Bella's favorite gardener. Poor Bella said the back patio looked like one of the whaling slaughterhouses in Dunwall. Uh, repulsive. Jindosh could have stayed at the Academy of Natural Philosophy. He might have done some good there. Nice. All right, I need to eliminate Jindosh and find Anton Sokolov. Since the old days. With your help, perhaps it will not descend into complete ruin. Welcome to my home, stranger. The door is always open to those with the will to pass the threshold. If you're here by appointment, then proceed and bide your time. Otherwise, I'd be remiss if I didn't inform you about the defensive mechanisms employed here, which are quite formidable. Many have entered without invitation, for reasons as myriad as the fish in the ocean. But of those who've dared to explore further, very few have found their way back out. Something like this, and why? Ah, someone's activated one of the mechanisms in my house. Jindosh. My home is always open. It's one of my great curiosities seeing how the common mind navigates these shifting rooms. I'm Karen Jindosh, but you must know that. I invite you to continue, stranger. Just come up the stairs. Meet with me face to face in the upper hall. Oh, there. No, no, come up the stairs. That way is for invited guests. side. In part, I made this place for luxury and spectacle, I suppose, but it's more than that. This place is a testament to engineering itself. I always have a use for those who seek to pilfer from my home or wish me harm. My assessment chamber has plenty of room for new test subjects, and you'll be in good company since the infamous inventor Anton 
Sokolov is there now, residing comfortably, much to my amusement. Ah, you've encountered my arc pylon. The electrical discharge from my clockworks makes these obsolete. I keep this one out of nostalgia for Sokolov's dating designs. The space behind the walls. What kind of sadistic joke is this? for an army of his clockwork soldiers. He can't be permitted to build it. He won't. I'll be paying him a visit momentarily. <laughs> is to take Sokolov back to the carriage before confronting Jindosh. is safe. Now for Jindash.
did it. How is he? Frail and wounded, but he'll recover. I didn't think it was possible. You must have a story to tell. I'll hear it back at the ship. All right. There 